Marlon back here with another news video for you guys and girls today. So first thing is first here, we're hearing the rumor mill starting to take off once again. And I'm not going to believe any of this stuff, but there's some things that's been ruffling in the feathers here. Stating that we're going to be getting a January Nintendo Direct. I mean, the last time we got a Direct was in September. So a lot of people are speculating that we're going to be getting a Direct in January. Now, Nintendo can altogether just skip January and go straight to February. Now, there's a lot of titles that we're looking forward to seeing, right? Like more on Bayonetta 3. We thought that we we're going to be seeing it at the Video Game Awards. That didn't happen. Um, Metroid Prime trilogy we didn't see anything on that uh we was hoping that we could get some new ip announcements like some brand new games a lot of people are saying odyssey 2 um breath of the wild 2 as well so i think this next nintendo direct that's going to be happening whether it's january or february i think it's going to be the biggest one yet i think this nintendo direct is going to be at least 45 minutes long because there's a lot of things that nintendo didn't get to cover um you know of course for the rest of 2019 come on it's been like a three month gap so and i do believe that we might get it in january and here is why because of the smash ultimate fighter number five right i mean the fighter number five is scheduled to literally drop sometime in february so that's like the ending part right there to cut off this whole fighter pass number one so or they could just do it in february and still give us the release date for fighter number five so either way it could happen january or february i just hope that nintendo do a massive update to the online of course we need to see more stuff on all those games that i just mentioned but the online needs a drastic update especially when it comes to native uh, chat support and whatnot so what do you guys think about the january nintendo direct do you guys think it's happening in january do you guys think it's going to be massive i do believe it's going to be massive because there's a lot of things that wasn't shown in the september direct and of course at the video game awards so the hype level is definitely real and i think that would just be a great way for nintendo just to start off the new year right right with some brand new announcements you know during the direct and of course existing games that we already know about like Bayonetta 3 metroid prime 4 if they they have anything ready on that some new ips and just making the online better or we can get disney plus or you know maybe netflix on the nintendo switch and just try to evolve the the whole nintendo switch ecosystem all right guys let's move along to the next part of the news video here so this is a bit bummersome here because i know that there are some fake micro sd cards out there that you can buy like some off-brand ones that are just really not that good but this one right here is quite interesting because this is one of the top brands for micro sd cards and the, the real culprit here is the scan this gold edition as you guys can see right here it's a one terabyte and it cooked somebody's nintendo switch like i, I just can't believe that it actually melt this person's nintendo switch and this is coming from someone on reddit and apparently they bought a brand new um, memory card from best buy and when they got it for a low price during black friday and they insert it inside their nintendo switch and somehow it melt the nintendo switch like the whole chassis where that memory card goes into is like melted so guys be careful if you are looking into getting a terabyte micro sd maybe try another brand other than the scan this extreme here because scan this extreme are very very good micro sd i think scan this is like one of the top ones if i'm not mistaken leave y'all thoughts down in the comment section down below but this is kind of real sad man your switch is like fried it's melted and i don't think nintendo's warranty will cover that so i think this might have to go with the manufacturer for the actual micro sd card i think they'd be the ones that the redditor has to go through to get a brand new switch because come on man that thing looks boiled and melted like a slice of cheese 
All right, guys, now let's move on to the next part of the news video here. So PlayStation just announced a back button attachment turns your DualShock 4 into a pro controller. So basically, I don't have any images of this right now, but I can just pull something up real quickly. And what it is, it's an extra attachment that goes under the bottom of your PlayStation 4 controller. You have 16 different um, functions there. You have a LED. You also can plug a stereo um, headset jack. You know, like you have that there so you can plug your headphones in there. Uh, so there's like a lot of different cool um, features there. It also has the triangle circle X and square um, button logos on it and it will be retailing for $29.99 um, and it comes out in late January and I believe in February um, in the Europe of A or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to try to see here if I can get a quick image of this so you guys can see exactly what this looks like because I know a lot of people was kind of on the fence when it comes to like pro controllers uh for their playstation they came out with one and i thought to myself i was like wow this is actually really cool this adds a lot of different variety and whatnot so yeah man playstation is kind of really trying to push the envelope here this late in the generation so that's the attachment there guys as y'all can see it comes out late january so let me know if you guys are going to be picking this up it's going to turn your PlayStation 4 controller, your DualShock 4 controller into a pro controller. Now, the last bit of news, well, semi to last bit of news that we have for you guys and girls today is Capcom registers a new trademarks for Dino Crisis. And Dino Crisis is a game that I remember playing back in the day, and it's a great game. I think Capcom is really kind of digging in now and remodeling just basically remastering all their classic games so we got resident evil 2 remake which is my all-time favorite resident evil game and that's remastered and it's one of the best looking games of this generation even though it's just a remake and then now they're doing resident evil 3 remake which i had to kind of warm up to and it looks really really good it looks really really good after seeing some gameplay footage on that so dino crisis could be coming back um, imagine if they actually use that same in well not the re engine because that's just for like resident evil but they they could but imagine if dino crisis looks like re2 or re3 remake i think that would just be phenomenal so they literally did new trademarks for a number of classic games including dino crisis so we're just gonna have to wait and see on more details on that now we're at the ending part of the news video here and this is sort of a bit confusing for a lot of xbox fans and everything like that and um, microsoft just announced the actual name for the xbox series x it's going to be called wait where's my hand at xbox it's just going to be called xbox so I told everyone that the Xbox Series X is going to be a family of different Xboxes. Like the X probably is going to be the more powerful one, just like what they have right now with just this Xbox family of system. You have the original Xbox, you have the Xbox S, and then you have the X and all of that. So you're going to have different variant, maybe like three or four different variant of the Xbox Series X. So it's going to be called Xbox. And that spells to me that microsoft is trying to stay to the roots of the xbox because the original xbox was called xbox and so i think a lot of people are really kind of confused by that because we heard about all these different code names like project scarlet um anaconda and all of this so they thought that it was going to have something like similar to that so anyway guys thank you all so much for the tremendous support i really do appreciate all the support make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell to where you never miss a video or live stream thank you guys so much and have yourself a great night peace leave your thoughts down in the comment section on everything that we talked about today bye